Hey, welcome back to another Bluefin Hangout. It's Friday. We wear jerseys, and today we're talking about one of my favorite subjects in the whole world. We're talking about Star Wars. I got a kid named Luke. I had a dog named Vader. I got a new dog named Kylo Ren. Loving the Star Wars. Can't wait to talk about it. We got some fun new things we're going to introduce into the show today, and we're doing giveaways. Everything in front of me. Let me make sure nothing is in front of me. We're not giving away these six model kits. Uh, we're giving away. We're going to eat. We're going to have six lucky winners. Uh, the best way to win is to be interactive in the chat. You know, if uh, if you agree with something we're saying, if you disagree with something, if you think, you know, that Bandai Dave, he knows what he's talking about. That Steven, nuts. You know, leave it in the leave a comment in there. And I think there's six model kits. There's five of us. I think maybe all of us choose a winner just randomly throughout the episode. So uh, make sure that you're interacting. Make sure you're following us at Bandai. Oh, not at Bandai. We're at Bluefin Brands across all our social platforms. And uh, let's just get into it. We got uh, we got all. All five of us here today, starting mm -hmm. with the man to my left, Stephen K. Jane. See, after two years, I finally learned <laughs> we're opposite, and it points the right direction. <laughs> How you doing, Stephen? I am great. Thank you. Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, very excited to talk about Book of Baba Fett today. Well, nice. And you are Baba repping Duke. the Ducks, a, a different Ducks jersey. What do we got? We got Eggplant? No. Same one I was doing a couple weeks ago, the 25th anniversary Silver Edition. Mighty Ducks. I was going to wear one of my old school Mighty Ducks, but you can see the closet situation is a little rough over there. So this was the first thing I was able to grab. You got to keep it fresh. I am wearing Giants, but different Giants. It's a clean jersey. So, I mean, that's fresh <laughs> enough. Well, I mean, we don't care if it's dirty. We can't smell you from here. No, oh, I can. And now oh. let's see if I can do this the second time in a row. Justin, how are you doing today? I am fabulous. Hey, check this out. Bandai Dave is the best. Hey! It's you. <laughs> you are yeah. a winner. The Darkest 48 is our first winner. Uh, we don't know which model kit's going to go to who, but uh, at the dark at the Darkness 48, message us on Instagram at Bluefin Brands and tell them that Bandai Dave is the best. I get a prize for it. So <laughs> the first winner. See, we, we we all can't be bought that easily. <laughs> oh no! Hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like uh, Mr. Luck. Cervantes down here. Mr. Cervantes me, talking smack on the Giants. Should have worn my Gigantes jersey, so Cervantes and Gigantes would have rhymed, but uh, he must be a Dodger fan. That's yeah. okay. First step to, uh, to, to, to the cure is to admit you have a problem. But Justin, I'm, uh, who, I know who you're repping, but show the nice people who you're repping today. Oh, yeah. I got, uh, got some Mariners action, some Ichiro and uh, in fact, yesterday I was wearing my Griffey, and uh, Johnny was like, Marlins. I'm like, what? <laughs> talking to me? I'm like, Green Mariners? <laughs> uh, good stuff. Very excited. Look at this guy no, sucking on you, caps already. Quality, that's a high quality comment. I think he deserves a model. Hey, man. Hey, you said you whoa, can't be whoa, whoa, easily. Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. We were this, this, day, this, this was, that was bait for a Gustav Carl comment, and it worked. <laughs> so I believe he should win a model, kids. Whoa. That's right. Oh, wow. Let's climb up the shelves. Two model kids down. David has whoa, given the good stuff. I'm going to keep Two mine demons. super reserved now if they're just going away. So like that. I don't know. Look, look at that. AJ <laughs> is way better than Bandai Day. <laughs> what? While this, is, while this is maybe true, I'm going to keep my kit reserved until then. We can't just give away I have all of them the in the button. first couple minutes. <laughs> I have the button that says end broadcast. I will not take shenanigans <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> Symmetrical Devastator is just nice. Oh. <laughs> just nice. That's also That's kind of an comment. okay comment. That's a great comment. I don't know if you about uh, that <laughs> the lead, though, we've been talking. He's been he's already, he's already given away his model to Damon Verdowski. <laughs> okay, now I got to go down and to and to a side. Yes, I nailed it, David. How's it, it going? I mean, oh. I'm doing I'm doing good. You know, we got a Devastator and a Gustav Carl comment, so it's great. <laughs> And, and and what jersey are you repping? Are you are you are you in your uh it's a, Overwatch a, league? Uh, Punisher. Oh. oh yeah, team punishment. Oh yes. But you're here giving away like <laughs> freaking kits. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't think that's really a punishment. Punisher's a good guy. He rewards those who are good by not killing them. My way of doing that is giving them model kits. What about water? <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing verses right now. But it is a very powerful force. I stand by that. All right. And then, of course, the top of our pyramid of awesomeness, 
the man who I gave plenty of time to find and put on a jersey by calling out nope. everyone's individual jersey, and he didn't take the bait. CJ, <laughs> how are you doing today? I want to be the rebel. We're definitely not wearing the jersey this week. <laughs> I'm doing great. Um, we're, I'm ready to talk about Boba Fett. Got some comments going on for that <laughs> for that series. So Mr. Vader's fist. I actually have two Admiral Ackbar jerseys, but <laughs> they're like because like minor league baseball teams did this thing a couple years ago to where all of them ha- tried to get crazy and have like Star Wars night. And two of the teams actually had were the a- were the Ackbars for a night, but they were like commemorative, so they're like in a in a frame. So I'm tempted to just free them and wear them, but uh, I haven't uh, I haven't pulled the trigger yet. But I'm going to now. You you have inspired me, Mr. Vader's fist. Does it have a picture of Ackbar in the front? Yeah, so yeah, one one of them, like the whole left side is just like his face, which is objectively <laughs> like the ugliest thing in the world. And it's so hideous, I that, love it. It's really the only thing that stopped me from getting like an Admiral Ackbar tattoo because I love him so much. Is just to, like, I don't know if I want that on my body forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good look. <laughs> we gotta get you one with his cold, dead, lifeless body floating in space. Oh. Oh. Eyes bulging out. They did yeah. a <laughs> But they're like sideways bulged. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How, how, how you gonna kill him off like that, man? He, he got off screen, basically. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even see it happen. It's crazy. Mm. Yeah, salty. I think my friend had to tell me about that. I'm like, did it happen? We gotta go watch that movie again. <laughs> he should have been the one to do the hyperdrive thing. He could be like, it's a trap. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you a trap. <laughs> <laughs> or he says the something like, really good. The yeah. Scout Troopers are really good model kit. That's a very good kit. Um, David, you want to uh, tell us what model kits you have in front of you there? Yeah. Sure. So we have we have a couple of cool ones. We have two from the Mandalorian. We have the Mandalorian in Beskar armor. It comes with all of his cool accessories. It comes with the Beskar spear. It comes with the dark saber. Uh, we have a vehicle model of uh, the Razor Crest. Uh, rest in peace, uh, which is exciting because people actually get in the Razor Crest has lab ones. I know it's a different company, but I'm excited to see those the monstrosity. Justin, and I have a buddy who ordered two, and uh, we're gonna make them open one so we can see how cool it is. Uh, then we have uh, have an X wing. Uh, I think it's Red 5. Yep, so that's Luke Skywalker's X-Wing. Uh, and then we have three small vehicle model kits. Uh, we have the First Order TIE Fighters. We have the Millennium Falcon. And I believe this is an ATST and Snowspeeder. Uh, yes, it is. That's it's correct. There. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. I can see is brown box box. Brown cardboard, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like a true Tried to remember from when I set it up. Luckily, it was Star Wars. I know a ton about Star Wars. If it had been another... IP I would have had to had to cheat, but uh, we should play a excited. game like that one uh, day where you just face the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're so we're giving so we're doing this in honor of Book of Bubba Fett. We are about halfway through the series. We are three episodes in. Um, it is a very different show. Uh, I think we all have unique perspectives on it. Um, I think overall, I really really like it. Our last episode was kind of eh, it was good, but it wasn't didn't blow my socks off. But uh, I I was digging the sand people and. Uh, there will be full spoilers going into the first three episodes of the show. We know nothing else outside of episode three, uh, as, as much as far as you guys know. So we won't be spoiling anything past episode three. Uh, so uh, I guess we can just kind of kind of jump into it. Hey, hey. Um, all right, Stephen. We start with you first. What are your what's your overall thoughts on Book of Bubba Fett so far? The, what was your thoughts going into it? Were you excited? You know, kind of has the show. Uh, met your expectations, and are you optimistic for the future of Book of Boba Fett? Yeah, so very excited for this. I was definitely hoping it was going to be more like the Mandalorian. Um, I'm surprised and enjoying the fact that it's basically just saying I'm the new Jabba and everyone respect me kind of thing. I love this whole notion that Boba Fett had like the minimalist amount of screen time in the original trilogy and we're trying so hard to make him like a popular, relevant character more so. Um, I'm really, I'm really digging it. It's, it's interesting though, because like Mandalorian, I had to see the next episode right away. Book of Boba Fett, I'm okay waiting, but I'm still enjoying every second of it. Awesome. What about you, Justin? What, are you, what, what's your initial, uh, initial thoughts? And, and maybe what was your, what was your hype level going into Book of Boba Fett? Uh, you know, it was, it was pretty hype. I was excited. I, I kind of forgot about it until the, the trailer dropped like a month before again, like uh, reminding us that it was a thing. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I can't wait. I'm excited. And I personally, I'm a sucker for the sand people. The more we can learn about them, the the better. Uh, I am convinced it's nothing but beautiful people under those rags. And uh, I, I'm here for it, man. The, especially the second episode. I really enjoyed the second episode. That was a lot of fun, uh, especially when he like the whole forged and fire kind of moment where he's building his staff. I 
I love that. So, so far, so good for me. And Jennifer Beals is in it, and I like her. She's like my 80s crush. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm all here for it, man. Nice. The few sand people we've seen derobe, uh, it's been a mixed bag. There's been some, some like you said, Justin, just beautiful people who have never been kissed by the sun and who have like pristine skin, and then some, some not so much. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, uh, Cannot wait. Uh, Mr. David Clark, how are you doing, and how do you love Book of Boba Fett so far? Or do you not like it? You can not no, love I, it if you want. I think, it's been, I think it's been really good. You know, I like seeing that, you know, Boba Fett isn't just, like, some faceless guy. Like, he has a code you know, that we saw a little bit of in The Mandalorian. Like, he's not just, like, a savage murderer. Like, he has an order to what he does. Um, so, I, you know, I like seeing that. And then, like, the story, it took my my feelings on the Sand People through, like, a roller coaster of emotion. I was like... I don't care about sand people. And I'm like, yo, I hate sand people. Then I'm like, oh, they're pretty cool. And then I'm like, yo, they're already dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's a bike like, kill. Yeah. So I could watch a lot more of them. Oh, oh, they're dead? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was oh. I was sad. I was like, okay, you made me love them, and then you murdered them. So you're saying talking. just don't love things. <laughs> right. Don't get attacked. Not Star Wars, no. Everything gets exterminated eventually. Yeah, yeah, that sucked. I was kind of hoping like he would call them to, like, hey, you remember that time I did you a favor? Now I need your help. And then he was going to use them to help battle like job like mm -hmm. those huts, the little the hut twins or whatever they are. But uh, I guess that's not going to happen these days. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Are the kids yeah. dead? Are the, are the women and the kids? Are they all dead? <laughs> they killed the women I, and the yeah, kids. I think so. <laughs> They're animals. Like killed them. Like, oh. uh, you know, I I have a lot of similar thoughts to Mr. Vader's fist here. Why does why does he want to be in charge of Mos Espa? Like he's Bubba Fett. Go go to throughout the universe. Why I don't think we've gotten enough um like why he wants to do this. Like, is it just purely he just wants to make money? You know, I would think that there was better ways for him and Fennec to make money in the galaxy, but um, you know, maybe something's gonna come up to where he feels like there was a reason for this, but um, maybe, yeah. maybe he sat down with a financial advisor and developed like a five year plan <laughs> and this is what it entails. <laughs> The They're like, of look, all, all of all of your retirement went down with the Sarlacc, blah, blah, blah. You, <laughs> right. need, you need to build up your portfolio, go to Tatooine, be a Dymo for a couple of years, make some coin, and we can invest it in the course on stock Wait. market. Here we yeah. go. All right. So he has a code, right? He feels indebted to the sand people and sees how the land that's theirs has been taken. He's going to take over Tatooine and give it to the sand people. That's how you make yes. up for the fact that the people who saved your life are now all dead. Because of other evil people on the planet, he has a code. Right. Or he's going to build yeah, Larry, a really big uh, Larry De Stefano. He uh, he misspelled Boba Fett Starship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How about that? How cool was that seeing Stephen Root though, aka William Fontaine de la Tour do Tree from King of the Hill? That was kind Loved of it. exciting. That's where Stephen he's from. Root. I was like, man, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> but I choose not to look him up. <laughs> I, I, I wanted him to be a good guy, though. I don't want him to be a scumbag. Yeah, he's he's definitely gonna be a scumbag. I mean, I, like the, I mean, he's always uh, he was a scumbag in kind of King of the Hill too, though. So what are you talking about? He's the I mean, like he's lovable, but like he, Bill, Bill has problems. <laughs> yeah, you can dodge a wrench. <laughs> Thoughts on the oceans of Tatooine? It's part of the plan. It's part of the plan. <laughs> David of the plan. Cl Clark loves the ocean. And all yeah, that is it there. not useful? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Those bags of sand look like they're going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah emotional damage. Uh, yeah, I think uh, you know, as as a big expanded universe fan, you know, I've read all the books and stuff like that. You know, Boba Fett plays a significantly larger part in the expanded universe than he does in the. You know, I think it's six minutes of total screen time in the original trilogy. Uh, so you know, before it was all decanonized in the Great Purge of Disney and. 2018, I think, is when they started their own canon. Um, a lot of what we're seeing from Boba Fett, you know, came through, you know, that he is kind of an honorable man, you know, that, yes, he's a bounty hunter, yes, he's kind of a scoundrel, but, you know, he's not a bad, he's not a bad guy, uh, and so I, I like seeing it. I'm not sure, I feel, I feel like he's taking his helmet off more than he should, but I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't have a problem. Maybe maybe as the as the Tuscan Raider, he uh, got used to the, the sun in his hair, and he's got used to not wearing the helmet, and now, now it scratches or something. He's not used to it, but well, he's not, um, not cultists either. So <laughs> then there was a time he took his helmet off and he got it back with a bunch of coin inside. Like, I mean, that's cool. 
I take the helmet off. Tries to put it on with the coins inside. (laughs) (laughs) It's just money just falling out. I assume that's what it's like in video games when I got a lot of when I've got a lot of money and I'm like, where do I put? Where do I have pockets for this? Just put in the helmet. It's like in Bethesda games when you're encumbered and you just walk at like 0.2 speed. (laughs) Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, but no, it's it's been a lot of fun. Um, I, I think it was cool to see uh, to see Black K, Black uh, Christanton. I know I'm going to pronounce the name wrong. Uh, from the comics, uh, you know, he's been. What is cool is you know he's he's kind of a nemesis to Mister uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, and Mister Obi Wan Kenobi also has a show coming up. So maybe we'll see him come back. I was a, it was a nice treat to see him come back in Episode Three because he is a. We're used to cute and cuddly Chewbacca. This is a. A much different, much scarier, much more badass, cool looking Wookiee, I think. So <laughs> right? um, I, I had texted David last night, who hurt this Wookiee? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he came in and he was gonna Cobra Kai Boba Fett with the hoe with the knuckles, but it's electric. And then David's like, Oh yeah, he's got more of a history with him. Like, oh that makes more sense, but still he came There's in, he bit, he bit him and like teenagers with attitude showed up. <laughs> Yeah, with our yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the biker gang from Back to the Future or two. Yeah. I just, I just want to say uh, the entirety of this series, again, I've said it before. I don't know whether or not I'm watching it the wrong time, but I keep sleeping and I choose to make it a TLDR version of the series, except la- last night's or Wednesday's episode. For some reason, I stayed awake for it. Maybe I was awake at more at that hour, but. I could have rewatched the first two episodes, but I'm going to keep it to the TLDR version that I remember. There you go. <laughs> you probably stayed up because it was Danny Trejo. It was an episode. That's yeah. true. Danny Tre- Mach- Machete showed up, and I was like, what? <laughs> he's, a mul- he's a multiversal being. He's everywhere. Yeah. Well, he's soon, also in King of the Hill. Yeah. He's in DK. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they announced Robert Rodriguez was directing episode three, and I'm like, oh, Danny Trejo's showing up. <laughs> yeah. And he came in. But the only thing I didn't like is, you didn't get a good good uh, judge if he is who he says he is and he really wants to like help the Rancor and help Bubba Fett or if he's like a like a spy for the twins and he's going to try to kill him or something like that. To where Usually they foreshadow that kind of stuff. Um, I'm fine either way, but I agree with Damon that it would be pretty cool to see Bubba Fett riding in on a Rancor like the, like the Night Sisters of Dathomar. are. Mm-hmm. So have you seen the images going around where Bubba says I've ridden beast twice this size and then it's like the screenshots from the holiday special of him riding those like dinosaurs <laughs> going through? <laughs> That's right. This is a fun one too, because in the end we all know that the best of the show has been the Gamorian guards. I totally get like left shark vibes like uh <laughs> Katy Perry style. Like when they're they're always like all by his sides and everything. I'm just like, oh here we go, Gamorian guards. Can't wait to see where and they're just that we have the a couple of us. Dave and I have the the right body type to to cosplay as Gamorrean guards, so I think we can make it happen. I love that I whenever they Gamorrean do something. Guards are fit. I love that anytime they try to do something, they both look at each other like eight nineteen eighties buddy comedy, like uh, uh, right. React. <laughs> I know. I know. But it's cool that bag. it's cool that he, he cares about him because he throws like, "Hey, take him to my back to tank" and everything. So that's mm-hmm. that's nice. Yeah, but like, see, like I like them, and it's a Star Wars. Which means they oh, will yep. be dead by the time the show is over. So that's true. I'm trying not to get too attached to them. <laughs> be don't sad. get attached to them. <laughs> yeah, Kaiju, Kaiju, Kaiju Carl. It's like it's kind of like Bubba Fett's like a startup. So you have to wear multiple hats. Like you can't just be an assassin. <laughs> you got to also have like QuickBook skills. So you got to be the accountant. And you know, he also kind of keeps his schedule. <laughs> he right. got, even though they got uh, what's it, EV9 from Return of the Jedi is the menacing like droid helper like we could just kill these guys <laughs> <laughs> right right Thanks. yeah gotta be a gotta be a self-starter be able to work long hours that's all, all, that win. It's all part honestly of the i thought about that in last night's episode i'm like look at that yeah like a bathroom that'd be the funniest thing to see as a kit or figure <laughs> <laughs> you get just half naked bubba fett just in the back of the tank that you fill with your own water <laughs> <laughs> It really is a yeah. bathtub toy, Justin. <laughs> I know, right? You know, we, we should probably address the security of that palace because not only did Bubba Fett, <laughs> you know, blast his way in at the end of Mandalorian, but now <laughs> now your your Wookiee buddy, who's ginormous, was able to just kind of sneak right in and and lay waste to most of the people in that building. Well, I think they need to up the, the security. 
Yeah, you got Boba Fett who's underwater. Then you got Fennec. You got two Gamorrean guards, a droid, and four Power Rangers. I mean, it's not. Right. A, there's, a, there's a lot of empty oh, space in that palace oh, to sneak those in. Those teenagers only get called when there's trouble. Right. right. They were probably on their phones. So they weren't paying attention. He should have recruited, recruited the Wookiee. I don't know why he let him go. I'd be like, hey, look, I didn't kill you. So now you work for me. But he did dip real fast, though. He's like, you're free. Oh, yeah. He's, he's like, bye. <laughs> ah. yeah. He's like, peace. <laughs> It was funny he just goes running off off camera. (laughs) Yeah, that was funny. Where are you going? I I thought they were going to pull the hooky life debt thing. That's where I thought that was going to go, too. Yeah. Yeah, I hope he comes back and helps them with the whole Pike Syndicate. Um, You know, hopefully hopefully they they die terribly. I think uh, we all have thoughts on the, the Pikes and their link to Solo and who that could bring and uh, it uh, makes put smiles on my face. Hey, are the twins connected? I don't, I'm just gonna ask that. Like I was trying to follow. I was trying to follow their anatomy. I'm like, they're probably not connected. But I think so, I think they're, they're, I think they're just red vining. Yeah. AJ, I think. They're yeah. Red also, <laughs> AJ, they're they're huts. Like they don't move. So I mean, like, does it matter? That's true. Yeah. Oh man, because I told you they just grabbed like an animal and just dabbed it <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like it was the sound. David, David <sighs> you're the Star Wars expert. I have a question for you. Sure. Huts are weak and awful people. How did they get control of so much crime? They can't the move. Because they're good at it and they have lots and lots of money. So Yeah, but like but like not- how? Like how did they get to the part with money? They're old money. <laughs> yeah, they're old money. So yeah, they, they're, they're fun at Nalhutta, and so it's like, so basically like, they're like all crime families and stuff like that. So think of like the mafia and stuff like that, and they just imparted their, you know, their strong-willed characters, so, you know, they weren't affected by, you know, force users and stuff like that, and they just, one guy started, one, one hut built an empire, and then he gave an, another hut built an empire, before you know it, they had split up these parts of the galaxy, and they were run by these, like, hut syndicates and stuff like that. To where, like, typically, like, like, Jabba killed, like, his entire family, you know? Like, he, like the, the move is, like, when the baby's born, like, the huts roll over him. <laughs> like, so if you, if, you, if you view them as, like, Oops. a rival to your dominance, like, literally, you just roll over him like a disgusting thing. Um, but, you know, when you see huts like Jabba, who have grown to, like, enormous size and stuff like that, you know, they are a little more mobile when they're younger. And uh, interesting enough, uh, huts change their sex as they get older. So, you know, you may start out as female and you may go to male and you may go back to female because huts live hundreds of years. Uh, so huts are very interesting. But, yeah, same thing. Uh, I mean, all you need is a chain and a metal bikini and you can just strangle one. Yeah, because, like, as a wow, kid, the, between the whole this. time, <laughs> like, when, like, when they were, like, in Jawa's house, I'm like, bro, just kill him. He can't move. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, literally anything can kill him. But, like, I kind of respect that they have zero defenses, really, like, compared to, like, the magic space wizards and yet like the republic makes deals with them yeah that's crazy y'all can destroy <laughs> planets but you make a deal with the dude has to be carried around he's got to be really terrifying <laughs> like literally those like seven poor souls that were carrying the little dice all they're gonna do <laughs> is just put them down and bubba fett closes the door of jabba's palace and what are they gonna do right <laughs> i gotta just go the sun the sun sun take them. <laughs> Maybe pour salt on him. <laughs> that's a lot of salt. That's that's the weakness right there. <laughs> you go, Damon's Damon's uh pro, Damon's uh signing us up for a group cosplay. Justin will be the glory. Okay. will be black. Hey, sweet. Let's do he it. He's tall. He's six ten. He can he can do it. Big boy. <laughs> Big boy. Uh, not that we know of Kyle. We don't know if this is a one and done or if this is a. Bubba Fett will be back in season two of Book of Bubba Fett. Um, we don't we don't know a lot about most of these shows. We don't we we I think we all assume that Kenobi is a, like a one and done limited series, but you know who knows? We know almost nothing about Andor. We haven't seen very much footage or anything from Andor. I know Justin's hyped about it because Cassian Andor is his favorite character in the history of Star Wars. <laughs> I don't know Every about time... all that. <laughs> oh man! Every time I try to say something about him, you come up. You come I just defense, I don't like, see I why you hate him as much as you do. That's all. I don't hate him. You hate. I think he's like a black character, and he murders people. He does. He's conflicted. He's not a good guy. 
I, he's well, a weird he's guy. more. Yeah, exactly. That's what's interesting about him. He's he's fighting for the rebellion, but at what cost? I think that's <laughs> I think that's that's interesting. <laughs> oh. Oh. My name is Bubba oh. Skywalker. Like, that fits in with what's been going on lately. He's a right. clone. They put some DNA uh. into, in the tank. He's part Skywalker. <laughs> it might as well happen at this point. Everybody's no model. You get a Skywalker. You get to be a Skywalker. <laughs> no I model kit like for you. Hysterical. It'd be hysterical. <laughs> They're on Tatooine and that same old lady. <laughs> Come. <laughs> Not this like, Who are you? <laughs> I'm Bubba. Bubba Skywalker. Old lady. Well, Stop I think setting up Skywalker reveals, please. Uh, well, I, I think if Ray would have said she was a Palpatine, then she would have had to knock on everyone's door and say, "Hey, a Palpatine is moving into your neighborhood. Are you okay with that?" Yeah, like I promise, I won't genocide the entire galaxy. I promise you, I won't. <laughs> yeah, the the fight between uh between Black K and uh, Boba Fett was um, like. Why does he just tear his arms off? That's all, all I heard in the original trilogy was that they didn't want to tear the arms for like losing at like a board game. He's actually trying to murder Boba Fett. When he just make a witch? There you uh, go. Because Mandalorian, maybe? I don't know. Tougher? I mean, they, they fought Jedi for a long time, so they gotta be some kind of durable. Yeah, he took a couple shanks to himself. <laughs> Right, and then he stabbed him like four times. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's, that's he's got that too. sweet Dacta tank in the he's background. Like, die, die. <laughs> I was definitely counting that. I was like, let's see how many how many attacks does he take before uh, he falls to it. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> Scene's changing. I guess they caught him. Never mind. <laughs> that was a cool fight, though. I will say, like, I didn't expect him to just walk up into the palace and just go. Sorry to wake you up, but I gotta kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the inconvenience. Not the personal, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is funny. However, it's remarkable, rather, that everyone seems to stand right on that trap door. It's like a big, huge grate, but there's only a small <laughs> square that actually opens up. Right. There must be some sort of weird gravitational pull on Tatooine that just makes people want to stand in that spot. I mean, to like, be fair, they stand also here. <laughs> they, they also serve a guy who literally cannot move. So, like, I mean, but, must be the breeze coming from the cave, <laughs> right? Like, oh, like, yeah, like when you walk under a vent, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna stand here for a few minutes. This feels <laughs> exactly. amazing. It's like a drain; it all funnels down into that one point. <laughs> <laughs> just naturally, you want to stand there. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I like the you have like little like uh, vibro knuckles, like little, oh yeah, little that's cool, black and brass knuckles type thing. Yeah, that's what they're called. <laughs> you call vibro knuckles. <laughs> So they you have know, like vibro blades. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, not the salt. Uh, what do you think about Fennec Shan? She hasn't, she hasn't had a lot to do, but when the little part she's had to do, she's she's done a pretty good job. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm I'm digging on Fennec Shan. What what about you, Justin? Yeah, I, I just I feel like she's driving the ship a lot of the time, and I'm just curious if she's gonna um, like double cross him at some point. Like I feel like. She's making a lot of these pieces move, and she's calling the shots. And I don't know; it just seems weird that she's gonna serve him when she could do it all herself. Right. I wonder if she. I mean, clearly she feels some form of loyalty from him, like saving her in the Mandalorian, I guess. But um, yeah, Fett seems to uh, get instant loyalty with his subjects. Like the Gaborian guards were instantly loyal, and the <laughs> the, the teenagers are not instantly loyal to him. Uh, to where I wonder. I wonder if that's going to come up, you know, as he just continues to either grow his flock or if, you know, eventually it's going to grow to a size to where, you know, because Boba Fett was always this lone wolf, you know, it was just mm-hmm. him versus the world and he never let anybody in. So no one could ever betray him. And now he's letting all these people in. I wonder if someone in, I wonder if we're going to see a Greek tragedy, which I mean, do you think we'll see like the death of Boba Fett? I don't know. Keep in mind in Return of the Jedi, I got hit in the back with a stick and then he fell down a <laughs> hole. So Everyone's always talking about how amazing he is, and I just think of Return of the Jedi and him just getting hit in the in the back of the stick Whatever. and falling down he, a hole. <laughs> he's amazing compared to most people in the galaxy. Sure, sure, We're just sure. used to seeing magical space wizards. So, like, <laughs> we can't really compare That's him true. to them. <laughs> right. Like, I, I was thinking, like, in a fight scene, like, man, there's some lightsabers in here. I'm expecting some pew pew blasts, but not, I'm not getting as much as I wanted. But maybe it's because I've been, you know, 
raised with the other movies for such a long time that I need to accept what this is, <laughs> what their fights look like for this one. Right. Yeah. I feel like we need to take a second to recognize what a top-notch pun this that, that Mr. <laughs> Mr. Vader's fist put in there. It's going to the butt. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yeah. I'm easily amused. Uh, you know, kind of looking forward into the Book of Boba Fett, we know that um, uh, Dave Filoni is going to direct the sixth episode, which uh, Dave Filoni is, of course, famous for putting Ahsoka in every single thing he ever does, which is not a, is not a knock on the man. <laughs> I think right. we all are very pro Ahsoka, so, I mean, we're not going to yes. be mad. Uh, do you think, uh, David, that he continues the trend and he puts Ahsoka in the sixth episode of Book of Boba Fett? Well, she's in my top three favorite character, so I'll be disappointed if she's not not there. Like I spent all of celebration last time tracking down that so good <laughs> like little pin. So I'll be very upset if I don't see her in here. But it'll be great to see at least one Jedi. Just to remind the, the regular gun people, yeah, you have you have powers. Let me show you what that actually looks like. I'll just throw you in the room with my mind effortlessly for a little bit, you know. Just keep keep in their place, you know? Because they, they, they get really high and mighty now that the Jedi Order is not around and like the Sith aren't kind of doing anything right now. They get kind of high and mighty. Just a little reminder. <laughs> oh, shoot. They still exist. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like just one of them is enough to mess up all of our plans. Well, it is yeah. interesting that you know, Book of Boba Fett's been confirmed to be seven episodes and he's directing the sixth episode. So I wonder uh, if uh, kind of uh, a big thing with a lot of shows nowadays is have something major happen in like the second last episode. Like Game of Thrones did this a lot to where the second last episode was when all like the oh my god what just happened and then we got to see like the fallout of it at the last episode instead of waiting to like dedicate the first episode of the next season to it so um you know i could see ahsoka showing up doing some damage there you go okay over under uh, or i guess not over under steven who do you think it's more likely to show up in book of bubba fett mandalorian grogu which would mean grogu and luke um uh, ahsoka or let me throw a weird one at you, Han Solo. Of those four, who do you think is the most likely to show up? Okay, that's funny you mentioned that because I read a bunch of fan theories, people just speculating whatever the case is about the connections the uh, Pikes have to um, what's her name's character from Solo? Kira. Kira, yeah. So there's the connections there, and people were suggesting that Han Solo would be the one to show up. So I'm actually going with the curveball on this one. I'm going to say him. Okay, now, do we get all the will be wrong. Right from the solo films, or do we get a de-aged Harrison Ford, kind of like we got a de-aged Luke Skywalker, or a de-aged Mark <laughs> Hamill in Mandalorian? Uh, I, I really just want old, grumpy Harrison Ford on set <laughs> for five minutes. Just give him no lines, just like, here, just talk, just because that's always the greatest thing in the world. But I, I think it'll be similar to what we got from Luke Skywalker at the end of Mandalorian, where it's just... He has a couple of lines. It's de-aged to kind of make it look like it fits in the timeline. And people <laughs> He's rolling his dice that yeah. we keep seeing over and over and over again for some reason. He's got them around his neck like big fuzzy <laughs> dice this time. Ooh, there's a deep cut that would... I mean, I don't know. I don't know if everyone would be down with, uh, with your Force stuff here. <laughs> but I would. Uh, Justin, what do you think uh, of those four? Or feel free to suggest someone else if you think... Uh, I think that Kira is a slam dunk to be in it, probably. But do you think that one of the other four that were mentioned will be in it? Or do you have another one you'd like to recommend? I already forgot what the other four are. <laughs> oh, it was Mandalorian, yeah. Grogu, yeah. which would mean him and Luke Skywalker, uh, Ahsoka, or Han Solo. Uh, I think Ahsoka would be cool. Uh, that's That's who I would go with, just to remind us that that's still a thing. I, I think uh, I think the the Grogu and 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 Luke thing was a perfect send off in in Mandalorian, and I don't ever want to see them either again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Luke Skywalker is my favorite Star Wars character Skywalker. ever, but I mean that was just way too cool. So uh, someone put in the comments yeah. uh, Darth Maul, and I would expect Darth Maul to show up probably in like the, the Obi Wan series. Mm -hmm. But Darth Maul's dead as a book of Boba Fett. Or, I mean, right. That's what I'm saying. He, That's what I'm like saying. Probably Obi Wan. Yeah. <laughs> you know, his, his he was killed by Obi Wan Kenobi in a beautiful, beautiful moment uh, in uh, in Rebels, and so that takes place before A New Hope, and of course right. Obi Wan Kenobi dies in A New Hope. So, um, in theory, Darth Maul is quite dead. Right. But, I, I just think that yeah, yeah, he would probably show up in the Obi Wan series. Um, 
But Cad Bane would be really cool. Um, yeah. I see that in the comments. Mm. I would love to see a live action uh, Cad Bane. Yeah, give those Duros their uh, their due. There were there were Duroses in A New Hope, so we know that they they can they can do it. Just uh, making it cool. And you know, Boba Fett and uh, Cad Bane. It was a deleted scene in the Clone Wars, but they had a cool interaction where they had kind of like a standoff and. In that non-canon uh, version, Cad Bane was the one that gave Boba Fett the dent in his helmet. So mm -hmm. it would be cool to see them show up together. And then uh, I'm picking my winner for a model kit right there. Oh. Haley Parlow. Oh. Haley. Before I forget. Us... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Message us on Instagram, at Bluefin Brands, letting us know that uh, Justin selected you as the winner because you wrote Ahsoka and agreed with him. And I think there synergistically, it makes a lot of sense since um, you know we know the next show is going to be con it's going to be Kenobi and Andor, but Ahsoka is going to be shortly after that. And so you want to, you know, she is remind people yeah. mm -hmm. character. Yeah. yeah, remind people that she's there. Yeah, right. and I, I I apologize, Kyle, real quick for breaking your heart, but uh, honestly, I cried my eyes out in that episode of Mandalorian when Luke showed up, and I was like, "That's it, I can't, I can't take it anymore. That that was enough." <laughs> I didn't. I don't need any more Luke after that crazy uh, appearance. I agree. I, I think it was a beautiful send off to a character that I have loved my entire life. Um, mm -hmm. But I do think we're going to see Grogu in the Ahsoka series at some point. Whether or not that doesn't mean Luke has to be with Grogu, um, but I think at some point Ahsoka will visit like a temple or something, mm -hmm. and she'll interact with Grogu in some way, um, and see a, a young Ben Skywalker and be or Ben Solo and be like, hey. You're going places, kid. Keep it up. <laughs> yeah, it's like my a... dad went to go get <laughs> milk and something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me back. <laughs> he went to go get death sticks and he hasn't come back yet. <laughs> It'll be a home alone situation and he'll have to defend the house against the, <laughs> the wet bandits. Yeah. I'm always here for more Black Sun. Um, you know, the uh, Shadows of the Empire is one of my favorite books. Um, just because I, it's one of the few things that take place in that time frame between Empire and Jedi. Um, and uh, I read it pretty regularly. I love it. David, we didn't get your answer. I think we know your answer of the four characters, you know, Mandalorian, Grogu, Ahsoka, or Han Solo. <laughs> of the four, which do you think is most likely to show up? In, or, in, or, or who would be your preference? I'm going to guess well, what he's going to say I, right I, now. <laughs> the, the preference is Ahsoka. Uh, uh -huh. But in terms of who I think will show up, I, I've been hearing rumors of, of Solo showing up. Uh, and I think it'd be interesting to have him and Kira show up on, on opposite sides of, mm -hmm. of this conflict. Um, and I don't, I don't know why you said there. Which Han Solo? There's only one Han Solo. Uh, <laughs> like, like, only one Harrison Ford. You get the, so you get the old you, one and you get the younger one, and we just like, brought them like, both back. You can only have Han there. Solo, or you can just de-age that same Han Solo. But there, there, isn't, there isn't two people playing, and that's crazy. <laughs> No love for Solo in the Clark household, I see. Zero. Oh, no. <laughs> really? If I could have like Solo less? Out? No. No, not really. No. Uh, the cool like thing Solo, was, when, was when what's his face showed up when Darth when Darth Maul was in like the, the hologram mm -hmm. for like three seconds. That was it. <laughs> like I think about this the chase scene in that movie and then the episode in episode three, and I'm like, man. Why is it so much slower in episode three? <laughs> like they're obeying the speed limit. And I think about, I guess the mayor's assistant isn't really like a criminal criminal where he's like, I'll just run over everything. He's like, oh, I don't really want to speed, but like I really don't want to get caught either. Maybe I'll find that nice in between of like <laughs> of speed between those. Yeah, I'm All with right. you on that one. I, yeah. I thought it was in slow motion. I was just like, these things have like a they're topping out at like like 10 <laughs> mph. <laughs> They're very narrow. <laughs> the alleys were narrow. Uh, SS4 Gohan 28. Uh, uh, Grand, Grand Animal Thrawn is my second favorite Star Wars character of all time, and I would love to see him make an appearance. I love how Disney is making him more of a canonical character. You know, obviously, in the EU, the Legends EU, he was a big deal for, you know, his presence was a big deal. He really only had, you know, he had the trilogy of books, the, the you know, the, the Thrawn trilogy of books. You know, the Hand of Thrawn duology, he really wasn't in that much. It, well, he wasn't in at all, but, you know, the threat of him was there. Uh, and then he had, like, the outbound flight and stuff like that. But uh, I love that the new canon, they brought him in Rebels. He's had, like, six books. He's going to be in the Ahsoka series. He was name-dropped in The Mandalorian, which 
if Luke Skywalker hadn't shown up in the season two of the Mandalorian, like my favorite part of the Mandalorian season two would have been just a random name drop of Ahsoka yeah. saying Grand Admiral Thrawn. I'm like, what just mm -hmm. happened? This is real. <laughs> that was crazy. Brain. My life is complete now. Uh, so if I would love it if like the Empire tries to come and like set up a base on Tatooine mm -hmm. or something like that, and it's like led by Grand Admiral Thrawn. You know, if you the the Grand Admiral Thrawn books from the original one, they took place like in this time period. They took place seven years after Return of the Jedi, and that's that's pretty much where we're at. And uh, I know they're not canon; they don't count. But you know, Filoni, Rodriguez, Favreau, they're picking and choosing it, though. Yeah, right. they've done yeah. such a good job of just like the fan service for the old EU that uh, you know maybe they'll do it. So, but didn't Thrawn and Ezra get yeeted out into space with like those giant whales? So, like, mm -hmm. like if he comes back, like, did, did, did he beat Ezra? Did he did he beat a Jedi? Oh, I, <laughs> one I have on no one doubt. combat. <laughs> Here's my hot take, Mr. Clark. Grand Admiral Thrawn. If, if two those two went into the void, and I had to only pick one to come back, my money would be on Grand Admiral Thrawn, and I would bet a lot of it. <laughs> I, th I think they are both coming back. Uh -huh. um, uh, we know Thrawn's obviously coming back, but because you know they wouldn't have name dropped him in the Mandalorian if he wasn't. But mm -hmm. I think that I think we'll get a oh my god is that Ezra moment in the Ahsoka series. All right, that'd be but, cool. To be fair, though, Ezra did his one. He, he did his one thing. He he brought Ahsoka back from the dead using time travel. So he's kind of done as far as I'm concerned. So I mean, I, I'm not. I wouldn't be too sad. So yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Justin. I just wanted to say that AJ, you might have a contender for one of the model kits with slowers, not speeders. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I was reading through the comments, and I was like, oh, all right, I might, I so I, I actually was going to pick Stillville, and you because you mentioned it, so congratulations, Stillville, for being my pick for one of the model kits. <laughs> Sweet. I actually had the person I was going to give my model kit to, and Justin kind of briefly showed it. As a new father, I can sympathize with what Chris Miller is saying here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think him not watching Baby Ben is why we have Kylo Ren. <laughs> like <laughs> like the go. lack of parenting is why we have this mass murderer guy. So I, a lot I, of that. I think that I think that uh, Han loved Ben when he was a baby, and he started using the Force, and he's like, oh. Not this, this again. again. <laughs> yeah. like, go play with Luke or something like that. I bet he was father of the year when he was a baby. But uh, then it was like, I don't know what to do with this kid. Yeah, so. The baby started raising the blocks with its mind tricks. <laughs> and then, oh, probably shouldn't be. <laughs> I don't think I've got any, uh, you know, books on this. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> he so, turns into like Harry Potter's <laughs> uncle. He's like, I'm not going to pay for some old crackpot <laughs> to teach you magic tricks. So Stillville and uh, Chris Miller uh, uh, on Instagram at Bluefin Brands, you know, just message us, say, hey, AJ pick me or Steven pick me. Uh, and uh, Justin or AJ or Steven, one of them will make sure you get your model kit in the mail post haste. Please allow, you know, give us a little time to ship it out. You know, uh, it's there, there's a there's a bit of a shipping crisis and uh, we are backed up with our orders, but uh, we'll try to get to you as soon as possible. So yeah. slower is not speeders. <laughs> so, far, not speeders. so far, I got uh, Damon and Chris. Perfect. They were quick. They really wanted those kids. <laughs> <laughs> he wins for Bandai Dave is the best. See how easy that, that was? Out. I don't know about all that. <laughs> it's like 10 <laughs> seconds into the hangout. Yeah. I didn't want right? to forget. I didn't want to forget. So I was just like, I'm going to get out of the way so I can enjoy it. It's in the show. front of you. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so I uh, hope uh, everyone leave leave in the comments, you know, what their thoughts on Book of Bubba Fett, where they think it's going, what characters you think are going to kind of surprise us and show up. Will we see the death of Bubba Fett? Will Bubba Fett just say, oh, man, this Daimu stuff is just too much work. I'm going to go do something else and then end up being the Mandalore of Mandalorians, which <laughs> I would I love to do. do. My planet needs me. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to see him ride the Rancor, and I think we're good. Maybe, like, have him Machete show up in that same scene, too. And I'm like, that's a screenshot. <laughs> Done. <laughs> now was Machete on a, on a rancor of his own? Like he had, he had this other one in the back. <laughs> I would want that. <laughs> um, well, we also have a, a fun new thing we want to we want to start doing on the show. Uh, you know, there are so many amazing toy photographers out there that just take pictures that just blow my mind of how good it is. You know, just from the posing to lighting to the actual photo. Some of them do amazing like post production work. You know, with After Effects, Photoshop, and whatnot. Uh, so we thought that we start to kind of spotlight some of those and uh, maybe even pick who our favorite one was. 
Uh, is that am I, am I portraying this right, AJ? Is this concept that I've only kind of half paid attention to when it was coming up? Yeah, that's very much the, the gist of it. We're going to spotlight some uh, cool photos that we've seen uh, with people who've tagged us at Blue from Brands on social media. So I know Stephen had made a nice PowerPoint for it, and so can't wait to share what we've picked. I can't get this out of my head now, Kaiju Carl. What if the what what if the Rancor is writing the shit day? <laughs> It could be the it. case. <laughs> that is still a <laughs> screenshot. <laughs> so but yeah, if you, if you take amazing pictures, uh, so these are like like AJ said, they tagged us at Bluefin Brands. You either tag us, use a hashtag Bluefin Brands, uh, just so that we're able to see it. You know, we love sharing it, uh, and uh, we'd love to spotlight it on the program. So take yeah. it away, AJ. So this was my pick. Uh, I had no, I, you know, I'm a big fan of Zenogre and Monster Hunter, so I was pretty biased on this one. I saw it, I'm like, he's fighting the Nargakuga and Rathlos, and he's winning? <laughs> I'm taking it. This is the photo for me. <laughs> so congrats, uh, TAS underscore SHMA on Twitter. Uh, you know, that's a really cool photo that you've got of these two. I like the rocks, too, and the electric effect that you've got on Zenogre. So, you know, if you've got the electric effect, that means I haven't killed it just yet. <laughs> Yeah, the Articulation series has some really cool photo galleries of uh, various monsters, yeah. uh, kaiju, all that stuff. So definitely check out um, their social handles. Check out their website. Awesome photo galleries. Yeah. Great job. Yes. This one's cool, too. I don't know actually picked this one. Was this uh, Steven? Yeah, so I thought this was really cool because we just, AJ, um, or actually I should say, I just edited a video on Mecha Godzilla that Justin and David did. Uh, I had a lot of fun editing that one. There's some really cool little things I can't wait for you all to see. And this is just a really cool concept because Dave's uh, line of them double teaming on Mecha Godzilla and mm -hmm. justice for Mecha Godzilla and all this stuff. So it was just fresh in my head and I wanted to include this one. Yeah, I really. Right. Yeah, I like this like smoky electric effect they've got with the blue like uh, it's like cotton on it. So that's really cool because it's not you know it's like oh it's like oh it looks like smoke but it's got that color to it. And I like how he's stopping Kong without looking at him. He's like, I can see you. I got that peripheral robotic vision <laughs> right here. While he's got like uh, what do you call it? Godzilla right on his sights. So. That's mm -hmm. really cool. Especially, also, I noticed the word Bandai on the <laughs> towers. Yeah, that was, yeah. So, <laughs> that was like one of the things too when I saw this. And the building's still standing. <laughs> yeah. We All the other ones are crumbled. Too, by the way. <laughs> 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 oh, hold on, guys. Got a few more things to finish. <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, what, what what I'm seeing here is maybe Godzilla's actually protecting the Bandai building. I think these two these two reprobates, these monsters, <laughs> these evildoers, I think they're trying to destroy the Bandai building, and Mechagodzilla is like, no, no, we can't. Let's have some civility. Mechagodzilla is a one-one scale model kit that we built at Bandai, so. <laughs> See, he's he's like, just go defend us. This is this is why David's got a he, he's got a backlog because he's been out there just putting pieces <laughs> on Mechagodzilla. He's like, <laughs> <and> one -one <laughs> He's like, all right, that's enough clipping today. <laughs> See, he's trying to peacefully subdue them so they don't continue their rampage. He wants to save lives. Mm. Can you imagine how big the runners would be on some of these parts? Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, I would do it, though. I, I, I would do that. You have to sand it down, too. Got to get a giant <laughs> sander. <laughs> a file. Oh, You're like, oh, how, would you even, how would you even sand that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Like, That's why I like my Hikachi so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, really enjoyed uh, this image. That's funny. And I figured uh, AJ and Mr. Clark would be big fans of this one. Yeah, I always love whenever we have like uh, rider photos. I know like uh, Jay and uh, Chat uh, Chat Toko Photo Biz always send us and tags us all the time, and everything they do is so good. Like. Uh, I know Jay had tagged this earlier for like a double one, and I'm a big sucker for double. Uh, in this case, this one is for Black RX, and the fact that you've got the motorcycle and the figure, like that's always fun as a collector. But the fact that you also have them in like this cool uh, background, it's like a cityscape as well. Uh, that's also a really fun diorama display because I don't really have dioramas for my figures, but if I did, I'd probably pick like a city one also. <laughs> Yeah, it's really cool because the image on the left is obviously the original uh, photo, and then the image on the right is the photoshopped one. Just th that really stands out. Um, like Kaiju Carl says, these colors really do pop and looks beautiful. 
Yeah, like, uh-huh. and that's that's funny. It's like whenever we do uh-huh. like uh, <laughs> magnitude. <laughs> oh no, that song. <laughs> Yeah, like whenever uh, we host like uh, the photo contest for Team Common Rider, it's always fun because we always say we want the non-edited and then we want the edited photo. So, you know, it's really cool to see something like this where they had done uh, the non-edited and then the edited photo for it. Great job. Yeah, really awesome. Good job. I like that figure a lot too. Oh my goodness. I, I texted you like, oh cool, you put him in there. Cause this was also <laughs> one I had seen on Instagram. And I had thought, like, holy crap. <laughs> I really like what they've done with this Y Wing. Like and it's think, Star Wars. Perfect. Yeah, and I love what like I think even our uh, show displays have, you know, that weathering going on with it. Cause if you build the kit as is, it's gonna need some weathering <laughs> effects yeah. on it right off the bat. So what they've done here is fantastic. I love it. Yeah, Joshua so the claims it. There you go. Yeah, Joshua with a Cobra Plus. Oh, that makes so sense good. with the image now. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it's awesome. I, I love. I love. I love the Y wing. It's such a it's such a unique, you know, kind of fighter. It's you know, it's an antiquated thing. Uh, uh-huh. There's also a gentleman named Models by Chris. He did one too, and uh, it's just amazing that when they when they when they are able to paint and dry brush. Just you can see like the mechanisms coming out and stuff like that, and um, I don't know if the droid comes painted or if it's the stickers or if that's a custom job, but uh, that's really teeny tiny, and that's <laughs> that's some great, that's some amazing detail. Yeah. So, you know so, what? So yeah. Cobra, great job. Since Josh was on the stream and we did feature, we did only give away five. We should give away the sixth one, and I'm thinking, <laughs> you know, with the cool stuff he's doing right here, with a no, he should get one. Sure. Yeah, I so think, congratulations. I think you're on something. <laughs> so congratulations <laughs> for winning. Uh, I believe that's our sixth one. So that's that's on all the kits so far. But yeah, make sure to message us on Instagram. I'm sure glad that you kept track because I was over, I was coming up and gave everything away. <laughs> nope, yeah. there's five of us. So. Five of us and six kits. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So congratulations, Joshua, <laughs> on winning uh, one of the model kits. I don't know which yeah. one, but. Hopefully you'll share it with us. <laughs> yeah, message us on Instagram at Blue Fin Brands. I'm sure you already know, but message us and say, "Hey, I built that awesome Y wing," and uh, we of uh, course expect pictures of whatever you get built as well. Mm-hmm. Oh man, this is so cool! <laughs> so I picked this one because on the right you've got Deathbringer, Death Adder Junior, and Death Adder looking like they're about to drop the hottest mixtape of 2022. <laughs> um, but I just loved the image on the left as well, uh, just because it just depicts a really great scene and i love the skeleton laying on his back like hey you weren't supposed to do that <laughs> yeah and again this is like that diorama stuff like i want to get into it, but i don't really want to have space for this stuff, for the dioramas so it's always fun to see that uh, like anytime someone shares and i think having all three especially since like i think it's death uh ring junior the junior one is an exclusive from elsewhere and not from us so mm. it's cool to see all three of them yeah really cool colors Dang. Oh my goodness. I love this. <laughs> I just see this kick in slow mo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, the trees. The trees are hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I like the custom trees. <laughs> She's like, oh no. <laughs> he is, that man is dead. Yeah, I think those trees are a le- it's a level in Mortal yeah, Kombat. I forget which forest. one. Yeah. It's living forest, yeah. So it's cool that they even have a diorama of this. <laughs> so <laughs> Dang, I love this just because like I can just picture the slow mo kick through that tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. that's really good. And who did this? Uh, Papa Dot Rez. Papa Rez. Papa Rez. Congratulations on. And you, you know, know it's going to be followed up immediately by a get over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In true Rico Pons style. Uh-huh. <laughs> the Rico Pons. With uh, the current situation right now around the world, maybe it's like a stay over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Start we're over there. over there. Don't yeah. come over here. Uh, Scorpion, Scorpion's dead. It's okay. Uh, real quick, uh, just anytime you tag at Bluefin Brands, we look at all the photos. So at least we try to. We get tagged quite a bit. Um, but what we're doing now, going forward, is we're going to pick some of our favorites throughout the week. So just tag at Bluefin Brands, um, and we will try our best to feature it on our live stream. Yeah. Now we're wow. talking. Okay, so this, this one is the one like, I picked. Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, this one's this one's pretty rad. Um, I have a Watu, uh, the Watcher, as it were. Um, this this Brawly looks incredible. I think it's so badass. And um, 
if you go to their Instagram page, you can see uh, sort of like a, a live recording of the uh, the effects added to it. it. Looks really really cool. Yeah, I think uh, I remember this name. I believe they had won one of our Storm Collectibles photo contests we did. I think like 2019. So they've done some really great work. So I'm glad to see that, you know, we're featuring another one of their works here on Bluefin Hangout. Yeah, I know. Uh, Dude, ever since I won, so I've just cool. kind of been keeping up with their stuff, and it's, it's, yeah. it's incredible. And I like that the effect looks just like it's from the show, or like even the game. You're just like, it's just with the glow effect and how it looks. I just love mm -hmm. it. <laughs> yeah. I uh, Was that the last one, Steven? Uh, it is, but I had basically what you had just said, Justin. Make sure to tag us on these socials to have your photos featured in future Hangouts. Cool. Sweet. Easy peasy. Yeah. I think everyone I that we featured did a really great job. I want to see some uh, symmetrical Devastators and some Gustav Carls next time. Whoa! <laughs> you and can then... tag Offshoot Comics for that one. <laughs> so here, can you guys, can you see this? Yep. Yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, you can see how the different shots, and then uh, here's basically how it's added. That's cool. I really love like whenever people do show like the you know before and after uh, within their photos. Like this is definitely like David. If we had to pick a winner for like a writer photo, and they did, they showed us this. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, you win. <laughs> like right? somebody, sure. somebody do this with like with like Gaim or or something. Oh, there this was one. a Gaim photo that I uh, saw. I didn't know how many we were allowed to pick, so I like I picked one and I based it on you know, like I said, I was gonna be biased and pick Zenogre, but there was a uh, there was one of Gaim and it's your favorite form and it looked. Really <gasps> <cool>. <laughs> Why did you pick Dr. Goofy arms? Send me that photo. I will submit you. it for next week. I will. I will select it for next week. Send me the photo. All right. I shall correct your wrongs. Well, there you have it. That's pretty cool, right? That was cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So give them a follow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Cool. Nice. Well, so we're talking about devastated. This is how devastated is supposed to look. The long <laughs> haul on one side. Um. Oh man, not Mixmaster. Uh, does Scrapper maybe? Doesn't matter. Different Transformers, David. Not one, not one and one and one and one. <laughs> it's supposed to be asymmetrical. Perfectly got Mixmaster balanced. down here and Scavenger. It's all thing it should be. <laughs> no, I saw how that worked out. <laughs> yeah, I, I see. A, I see a comment from Stillville where he's asking where should we tag uh, our kit, our kits like Instagram or Twitter. Uh, it could be either or. Um, you know, I think uh, we respond well with both Twitter and Instagram, so your choice. If you want to show them both, show them both. There you go, easy peasy. Yeah, why not both? <laughs> yeah, easy and peasy. Uh, well, great. Well, looks like we're coming up on time, so thanks everyone for joining us for another fun Bluefin Hangout. We had a blast. Hope you have a blast. I uh, hope everyone has a happy and safe weekend uh, and continues to enjoy Book of Bubba Fett and Star Wars in general because Star Wars is amazing and you should love it uh we showed you some great uh, great pictures if you want to share your art with us make sure to tag us at bluefin brands across pretty much every social platform uh you know facebook's a little harder to do tags but so i would stick to maybe twitter and instagram like aj just said uh but you know we do look on facebook too so uh just tag us uh and we would love to share it and uh, show everyone how amazing you are we'll give you a like probably a retweet so we can help uh spread the awesomeness that is your picture. Uh, but until next week, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.